Hello, and thank you so much for supporting us on our Kickstarter project, Play AR. We're taking video games out of the TV and turning them into a physical experience. As a special thanks for your support, we're giving away augmented reality masks for Halloween. Um, and this is what I'm telling you how to download and install uh, so that you can become an augmented reality creature of your choice for this Halloween. All right, so here's how we're going to do this. First, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to uh, download the app. And what it means is we're going to need to uh, scan this QR code. If you don't know what a QR code is or how to scan it, uh, first you're going to need a mobile device. So you're going to need a smartphone or tablet to do this. Um, then what you're going to need to do is go to, if you don't have a QR code reader, go to the App Store and you can download something like this. Um, so here I have the QR reader for iPhone. They should be free. Um, there's a whole bunch of them uh, in the App Store, so any of these will work. I'd probably take a free one without ads. Um, here I am at the Android Play. Um, these, uh, the free augmented reality, or our augmented reality masks for Halloween will work on both Android and uh, um, the iPhone. So again, here are some QR code readers. Just type in QR code um, as you're in your App Store and download uh, the appropriate QR code reader. Uh, once you have the QR code reader, what you're going to do is load it and then scan this little code. Um, what that's going to do is take you to the download page um, where it's going to ask you to download the app called Genio. Um, download that app and once you're done downloading Genio, um, load it and then you're going to click on a little search button um, in the Genio uh, at the top of the screen. There's a little magnifying glass. Click on that magnifying glass and then type in Monster Island. Okay, I think it says it here in the directions as well. Um, but you're going to search for Monster Island. You'll see it. Um, just click on Monster Island. Uh, wait for a second for it to load, and um, then you should be good. Um, the next thing you're going to need to do for this to work is you're going to actually have to download the markers. Um, this is what you're going to wear on your head so that you have an augmented reality mask. And we have the markers all here. Um, so if I look kind of a little bit more closely, you need to download marker masks here. I'm going to click on one of them, the top one, and then we can see that the markers have appeared. Okay, so you can go down and click on each one of those links, and then you're going to save these um, appropriately. You saw in the bottom corner here, I've got these options, and if I go across, I want to click on the one that has a little um, a disk, which is the save button. If I click on this, it will allow me to save. It's telling me where I want to go save as, and it's going to save it as a PDF file. Um, so you're going to take a PDF file and then print it, basically. Okay, so I can save that to the desktop. Another way of doing this, if you're not getting this little icon for some reason, is I can right-click on this image. So I'm just right-clicking, and then I can go down to Save As right here. It says Save As. You should have something similar. If it gives you an option to save it in some way, shape, or form, you want to save it and put it somewhere that you know where it is. So the desktop is a great place or in some folder, but remember where you save it. Um, after you've saved it, so I'll go save as, and we can put it on the desktop, or just, they're already named A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I'm gonna go save, let me see, there it is, it's saving, and then I can go uh, show in folder. And yes, um, we can see that the file is here. There it is. Okay, so once you've done that, then what we're going to do is we're going to actually come back here and um, you need to print out those files. So I download all of these and I'm going to print it out. So I'm just going to take that PDF file and I'm going to I've opened the PDF that I just downloaded. We can see it's opening it in Adobe Reader, which most of you, hopefully all of you have. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go File, um, and then I'm going to go down to Print. So you should print this. You want to print it at the actual size that it is. Okay, so this is very important. We want this to be at the size. Print this at the size that um, uh, that these the PDF is. So it should be eight by eight and a half by eleven, which is a standard sheet of paper. You need to print this in color for it to work. So you need to have color printing turned on. Once I've printed them out, then what I'm going to need to do is I'm actually going to cut them out with a pair of scissors. So here we are. We can see I've already cut this one out. So I've cut around the edges with a pair of scissors. I'm trying to be pretty exact. I want this little black border. That would be preferable all the way around. 
um, after I have it printed out, what I want to do is I need to put it on something flat. Um, what I found is the best is just a simple piece of cardboard or a stiff piece of paper. If you've got some sort of, uh, I don't know, mat board or something like that would be great. So here we go. I've got a piece of cardboard here. We can see um, here's an example. So I've cut this piece of cardboard out. Um, and what I do is I just kind of take a piece of tape and I could tape it down or I could use a little glue and I just um, maybe like Elmer's glue or something I could spread it out with my finger so it's thin you don't want it to be too thick if it's thick it's going to ruin the print um, the other thing which is best would be spray glue if I had some sort of spray adhesive glue you can get any hardware store just one spray across take the paper put it on there um, then what I do is you could take a pair of scissors and cut the cardboard um, that's not going to be quite as good if you've got a box cutter um, or an X-Acto knife you could cut along these edges, and I'd use a straight edge. You could use a book to keep this straight. A um, piece of flat metal is always preferable. And always cut away from yourself. Don't cut towards yourself. Um, that's dangerous. And um, just be aware of where the blade is at all times. Don't try to injure yourself. So I'd make a cut here, cut here, cut here, cut here. Um, and it's on this piece of cardboard. Um, so just any sort of cardboard, but it needs to be flat. This is really important for it to work. This has to be flat. So uh, we need some sort of a flat surface. If you're just doing it with a piece of paper, it's not going to work so well. Um, it's going to be very difficult if it's not flat. So um, try to make it flat. Next, after I've got the uh, marker attached to the cardboard, I take a piece of like, um, what would it be, uh, any sort of like um, box tape or um, some sort of heavier tape. Um, what am I thinking? The duct tape would work pretty well here. So any sort of the silver duct tape would be great. And I'm taking, this is from the dollar store. Um, most of you may have a dollar store around you. Or just some sort of um, women's beauty care place. You can get any sort of elastic or bungee. Something, a headband would work great. Something that goes around the head. And then I tape across, um, taping this to it. I find this is the easiest way to attach it to the head. And this works great. It's not going to fall off. Um, another way of doing it would be I could put a piece of tape, um, flip it over, so I've got the uh, just a roll of tape with the adhesive sticking outwards and it's also stuck to the paper. I just put this onto a hat. I could wear a hat and put this on, or I could tape it to my forehead. Um, either way, so that could work as well. Uh, once you're done, you would just, um, you know, attach this to your head. Uh, what you should look at when you're doing this is it, the letters are A, R for augmented reality, and it should be in this orientation right here. Um, it should be worn on the head. Um, so this should work at this point. Load the app, aim it at the marker, and you should have a great Halloween. So you can see uh, a number of different Halloween masks that we produce. Again, huge thanks for supporting us on Kickstarter. Email me um, if you have any questions. Um, the email is in the contact that I'm, I'm sending you. Uh, for this. So let me know if you're having any problems and we'll help you out. Thanks a lot. Bye.